Huh? Why are they killing me? Why are they killing us? Are you afraid? Are you afraid that I'm in a fucking beast? And if you throw a sticky bomb, it's not gonna do a fucking thing. Welcome hoarders, today we're going to be playing some more GTA 5, and this Testing Tuesday, we are hopefully, I'm not 100% sure if you can take it on the track yet, but if you can't take it on the track, I'll just probably drive around and tell you how I feel about it. Um, we're going to be testing the half track. Um, I, I believe it's under the Bravado name. Um... Because Bravado is for Dodge, and I know that it's an old power wagon, but, like, in deuce and a half form with fucking tank treads on the back and anti-aircraft guns. <laughs> um, the hell. Where is it? That is not the car I wanted. However, I'm going to drive this to be able to get another car. Oh, shit. Either one of these will do. Um, if I can use the truck as, uh, as what it's made for like to, if I can actually do races with it I hope I can I'm pretty sure you can because it's labeled as a personal vehicle which is just lovely uh, where are you there you are what can I do for you I believe it's in the third one it was destroyed Okay. I don't recall it getting destroyed, though. Wow. When did I... I must have been driving through the water again. That's the only thing I can think of. Um, wait a fucking second. Okay, so I have to go... Call my mechanic again. I need my fucking half track. Um, it is. It has an amazing amount of traction. Uh, as I will show you, it has some cool features too that I really enjoy with it. Look at that beauty. Oh. I based it off of the colors of the regular Dodge Power Wagon. Yeah, it is Bravado. Uh, I know you can't go across there because of several reasons. The water is way too fucking deep. Like, this thing automatically shuts off from it. Um, I am honestly hoping that this will be able to work. I starting to think it won't be able to because it's under military um okay da, 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 da. that's one of the good parts about this is the fact that you know, there's a lot of other vehicles um, that bob when they go into the water because they're not fucking heavy like this. This is my favorite part to cross. Look. It's a fucking beast. Oh, that's a tree. Uh, it has great amounts of traction, as you can see by me fucking wheeling up that. Um, the worst part of it is the turning radius. Um, it has shit turning. Um, the- wow. Fucking bush. The turning gets worse the steeper of a hill you're going up. This could probably go up about anything 
if the front wheels would actually grip when you're going up steep stuff, which is a big downfall, if you ask me. Um, so you want to, like right now, turn the whole way right and it's still going straight. You have to really fucking slow down to get traction on those front wheels, because it seems almost as if all the weight's in the back when you're going uphill. I think it's the amount of torque that this thing produces. Cool. Um, currently, I do not have the upgrade for the gun. Um, it's just this, this truck is basically stock other than all engine performance. I max that all out. Um, this is about as good as it can get. Other than I didn't put armor over the windows because I wanted to keep the original look um, and the gun and uh, I don't have mines but that shouldn't affect uh, performance uh, let's get up here it is slow though the only two downsides of this is how fucking slow it is and that you can't steer good. <laughs> She'll stop going downhill pretty, pretty quick eventually. That's the first time I ever had it make that sound. One thing I did notice about this that I thought was odd was the fact that there's no transmission upgrades. You see what I mean by all the weight um, that's just incredible amounts of understeer okay slapjack let me go up there you go I went way too far to the left of uh, the mountain on my way up Rum, bam. Hurry up, Jesus. Kunk, kunk. I actually think that's the first time I saw military as a category. So maybe they did make it where you can race. I will find out uh, when I'm done talking about it, obviously. Because I'm going to try to start a race. Um, I mean, there actually isn't that much more to talk about. It can take quite a few explosions. Um, the most I've had around it, like the most explosions it's been near, was three without smoking at all. Um, I didn't... Like, they were all um, not on purpose. God damn it. Oh, and it also sucks at backing up hills. Come on, Slapjack. Come on. Like, it, it gets a little obnoxious when the front just slides around. But when it's facing the correct way, it goes up some very steep stuff. Especially if you can fucking steer. Um, me and my friends were talking about this. Actually, let me get out. And... This bar... I'm fairly sure is so... If you're going up a really steep area... It rolls against the hill. Because it just looks like a drum... That's made so your bumper doesn't hit the ground. So it'll roll and make it... Because there's a straight line between the tip of the tire up if you needed to be able to go up a steep hill. So there's no way of your front bumper hitting. Uh, da, 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 da. I actually just want to pretty much make it up here. I would be surprised if it couldn't make it. Come on, Bessie. Um, even if I can't do the race, I'm going to have this as labeled as a testing video. Um, because I still do one every week. I might 
actually get like a legitimate stopwatch do the track because I've I'm the one that designed the track I could do the time and then stop it directly as I'm finished shut up LJT so if I yeah if I can get a time that would be wonderful um one of the things I actually think this is interesting with is watching the tank treads themselves when you go over stuff. Like, uh, when I get up here, I'll show you, um, what I mean. Because you go up the steps and the tank, like, watch the treads, how they fold up and make it so you can go up stuff. Yeah. Yeah. It's just beautiful. But, uh, let's go take this to the test track. And see what we can do. Okay, um, since I don't have the time, uh, so I can't do the actual race that I created, um, for this, I'm just using a stopwatch. Like I said I was going to earlier. I'm going to do the same track, you know, since I made it, so I know it, and yeah, we're going to do basically what we did with other vehicles, but without the in-game uh, clock, and hopefully the people down there don't try anything. If they do, I'm going to be quite angry. There's one of those briefcase things, so my guess is that they're going to try something. Hey, maybe they won't, but just in case. <laughs> Where's my go-to gun? Okay. Go around the inside of this bad boy. It's not incredibly quick the top speed for the speedometer on this says that it goes like 60 when it's maxed out which is a tad bit annoying oh yay he's right where I have to drive Go over here. Well, take this first right. Go the whole way down. Turn, Bessie. Okay. At least I kept it within the blue lights. Um, I think that they might know that I'm not trying to kill them considering I drove right past them. Okay, now we gotta go around this outside turn. I did, however, watch one of my previous videos to make 100% sure that I was going the exact path, because I know it's a lot easier when you have the uh, little yellow markers telling you where to go. Please don't shoot me, thank you. Really? That's not gonna... It's gonna affect something, but I'm pretty sure this is gonna be the slowest anyhow. So it really won't matter that I've lost like half a second from that fucking piece of shit. What are the odds of that? Apparently fairly high. Go out here. We hit this one. Weird loop de loop bam pull. Please don't kill me. I'm trying to make a video. Hey, you can fuck with me after I get there, okay? Not beforehand. 
You're shooting at me, that's not gonna do anything. That's literally gonna do Oh yeah, thanks for the boost. Now my time's gonna be sped up a bit. And... Stop. Oh my god, almost exactly four minutes. It was like 358.6. You know what, buddy? If you want to play this game, I'll play this fucking game. Come on, buddy. Come on. What's wrong? What's wrong? Huh? Why are they killing you? Why are they killing us? Are you afraid? Are you afraid that I'm in a fucking beast? And if you throw a sticky bomb, it's not going to do a fucking thing. <laughs> you bitch. You blew me up. Suck my dick. I'm All trying to make a video, you be respectful. Okay. Now, I guess I'm going to drive the whole fucking way to the bottom of the map. Or, I mean the top. So I can do the drag uh, version. I'm not going to do the off-road one, even though I think I should. But that's going to take a ton of fucking work. And I know it's going to be last. Um... I guarantee this is going to be last on all of them, because there's, like, almost no other vehicles in this game that go below 60 miles an hour as a top speed. But I will see you guys down at the drag track. Okay, this one is going to be a little bit more awkward, because there's traffic. Oncoming traffic. <laughs> I didn't really think of it until I got here, but I'll just stay over here um, and then probably cross directly into the middle if I can. Um, 18, 19 seconds. We can do it. Just blast my fucking horn, I'll get off the road. Might be able to do this for a shot. Okay, and stop. We got 444, not 444, we got 44.4 .4 seconds on that. Uh, that's actually a pretty funny time to have, I don't know why. Um, but uh, let's go to the leaderboard and see what we got. As you can see, there's nothing we didn't already expect. Um, the Bravado Half Track came in 41st place at 3 minutes 58.6 seconds. An absolutely terrible time. Um, if you are looking for a vehicle that um, to be able to help you get supplies, if you play by yourself. Um, I know most people usually gather supplies for their bunker um, without other people. Um, and if you're one of those, I would go for either the Tampa or the Rocket Bike. I don't remember what the name of it is right now. But, um, yeah, if you're playing by yourself, get one of those two, because they're the only two that was added in this update um, that you can shoot while being the only one in the vehicle. But uh, let's go over to the other leaderboard and see what we got on the drag track. Yet again, we came in last place with a terrible time. Um, I had to make the fifth page of the drag track specifically because of this vehicle. Um, came in 40th place at 44.4 seconds, which that's actually pretty funny. I hope it eventually gets to 44th place, but uh, I guarantee it will, as slow as that is. Um, but... Uh, it, it it works for what it's made for, which is to not go fast and not to go around tracks. Um, you can definitely kill people with it if you have a friend. Um, it can take a few explosions. It's good for like the military work that it was made for. But uh, that's all I got for this episode, and I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. And don't forget to watch one of my previous, next, and related videos. And I'll see you in the next episode.